Let's make it red. Oh, whoops. I used to have a shirt kind of that color. I like that shirt. It makes me feel like I have that shirt again. Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 18, and this is some footage I've made for the Brady Bunch intro where I just needed a lot of faces looking around doing different things, so that's fun. Uh, and one thing I thought would be fun to do is a shirt changing tutorial. Now, we covered this a little bit with um, uh, color shifting and hues with secondary color correction and stuff like that, but uh, this is more a specific application, uh, and so I would like to change the color of my shirt. So we've got this little random clip here that we're going to use to change the color of the shirt and I'm going to leave the chroma key off of it for now because uh, it'll help you to see how to deal with background and different colors and stuff. Um, so we're going to go to the secondary color corrector. I usually type that by find that by typing a secondary and finding the color corrector secondary right there. And then if you grab the default and drop it on, then you can select the effect range by just clicking that button. And then you just click on the color that you want to change. Now this only really works if you've got a nice solid color shirt. Um, it knew the duller the colors, the harder it's going to be. It's going to be kind of a bright color. And then we need to select show mask. So mask will actually show us what we've selected. And right now we've not selected very much. So we need to um, unlimit the luminance, unlimit the saturation, uh, and kind of see if we can find the exact right hue. So let's open up this hue. So luminance being the light value, like how bright it is, we need the whole gradient of the shirt, the brights and the darks. So we need we get rid of that checkbox. Limit saturation, uh, we don't we need the very blue parts and the not very blue parts. So this you you could just change some of these settings, but unlimiting the saturation is working great for us so far. So that's what we're gonna do. And limit hue. With the limiting hue, we're going to leave that on, and we're going to open the width just a little bit. So now you can see we have a nice, solid mat of the shirt. So that is what you want. You need only the shirt to appear. And so there's a bit of a sheen of my glasses. So let's see if we can, uh, as a check around, uh, get a general feel of how it goes. So let's see if we can get rid of that sheen. If I up the smoothing and drop the width. All right, and that's fine. So uh, if you've got something in your shot that just doesn't need to be done, one thing you can do is grab a Bezier mask. Go to your video effects. Go to Bezier mask. And you can drag just a random Bezier mask on there. And you can motion track your shirt if you need to. But what we're going to do is we're going to just have this low here, very, very low on the on me. And so, so let's see what the highest point I go up here. Because as long as we chop off my glasses and we don't chop off my shirt, we're good. Okay, so we can actually probably just prop it just a touch higher to be safe. Uh, so now we don't have to worry about parts of the screen. So that the masking and motion tracking that mask is a great way to only worry about the secondary color correction you want to do on that one area. So as long as that mask looks good, then everything's going to look good. So then we can go to the general options of the Bezier mask and select uh, mask effect only. Now this, so far, we've got something quite unique here. Um, maybe this would be a good x-ray effect or something, uh, but uh, yeah, so that's fun. Um, but the next thing we're going to do is go back into our effects and we go back to this color corrector secondary and then we uh, take the show mask off because that's what's making it the black and white there. But we know we've got the shirt selected, so that's what's important about all that. So now we can rotate the hue. And now my shirt changes into all sorts of colors. Let's make it red. Oh, whoops. I used to have a shirt kind of that color. I like that shirt. It makes me feel like I have that shirt again.
if you wanted like a darker looking shirt, you could uh, drop the saturation and you got kind of a more gray tone, earthy tones. Um, you could brighten it up with the gain, uh, make it look a little fluorescent even. Um, change the offset of it, the alpha. Really customize your shirt there. All right, let's give it a watch, make sure everything looks good. The mask doesn't hover out or anything. There you go, and I'm standing around looking like a fool. So, like if this video helped you out, subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. There are lots of helpful links in the description that I think you're going to like. And if you decide to buy this software, please, if you do it through my affiliates link, that helps me out a ton. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.